Hello, on behalf of the entire Arvada City Council and our team here at the city, I'm checking in with my fellow Arvadans. This is a tough time and we recognize that. But I wanna begin by thanking each and every one of you for what you're doing to cooperate with Governor Polis's order for stay at home. I know it's not easy. I know it's a hardship. And it's certainly a huge disruption to our daily lives. Without question, this is hurting each and every one of us and hurting our business community and our economy. I urge you to continue to comply with the governor's stay at home order. It's very important that we do so because what we're seeing is that in those places around the world and around this country where we have complied with a stay at home order, it does work. It helps take down the curve. And that's what we need to be doing right now because we don't have other effective ways to combat this at this time. Now this is a critical moment and we need to keep it up. So please join us in doing so. For example, while our parks and our open spaces and our trails remain open, we have many wonderful amenities in our community that we've decided we need to keep closed at this time. Our skate parks, our playgrounds, our tennis courts, and yes, even our pickle courts. And our golf courses should be used for walking right now, not for playing golf. It's difficult to not to be able to use these great amenities in our community, but for the health and safety of yourself and your neighbors and your loved ones, please comply with our requests on this. Now, my wife, Luann, has always enjoyed going to visit four of our grandkids on Monday nights while I'm at city council meetings. And for the last two years, my littlest granddaughter, little Emily, and her mom, Morgan, and our son-in-law, Michael, have come over every Thursday night. It's been a great tradition for us. But we've decided we can't do that right now. And it hurts us to do so, and it makes us very sad. But these are the things we have to be doing right now. My daughter, Morgan, is expecting our eighth grandchild, a little boy, coming here up here in the end of April. And we've been present for every other one of our seven grandchildren to be born. But we recognize that for our daughter's safety, for the baby's safety, for all of our safety, we're going to have to miss out on that joy, being there immediately, but be able to enjoy it remotely. Now, I recognize these are small sacrifices compared to what many of you are having to sacrifice right now but all of our sacrifice, sacrifices, great or small, are things that we need to be doing right now so that we can get through this. Now, there are ways to stay connected to your family and friends. Make more phone calls. Check in on your neighbors. Use FaceTime or Zoom or whatever platform you've learned to use to be able to connect, to laugh, to share experiences, to share moments to cry, or to give comfort. Go for walks while maintaining that social distancing that's so important right now. And remember when you're out on those walks or whenever you're having contact with individuals remotely, to be patient and kind to each other. And consider cutting people some slack right now as we are all dealing with this very challenging period. Now, Luann and I have put a couple of stuffed animals in our front window in our house, and I take great joy in watching kiddos and parents come walking by and, and getting a smile on their face. And we all need to do those kinds of things to create a little bit of an escape and something for people to get a smile about. I ache for our business community. We all do here at the city, particularly our restaurants, our other small businesses, our retail, we know how much they are hurting right now. And to the extent you can support those businesses by takeout, delivery, or online, please do so. The Chamber of Commerce and our Arvada Economic Development Association, along with other partners, 
have come together to develop a list of local restaurants offering this service, and it's called Takeout Takeover. Please stay informed about this situation by following trusted sources like the state and local public health officials. And check out arvadachamber.org for the Takeout Takeover service and other programs that they have. Another program that the Chamber and the City have worked hand in hand on is our Workforce Toolkit. There's a lot of good information for businesses and individuals on the Chamber website and the City's website that will be able to help you transition and work through this very difficult time. The Chamber of Commerce has traditionally been a membership organization. It has transitioned itself to be a community support organization, and we thank them for that. We also have additional resources on our website at arvada.org, or tune into Channel 8. You'll see that the city continues to do what it does best, and that's by providing core services for all of our citizens and focusing on the safety and well-being of the community and the city team. Now, I've been asked by Denver Mayor Michael Hancock to spearhead a recovery and economic uh, summit and program in my role as chair of the Metro Mayor's Caucus. And we're answering that call to action and we'll be working with mayors, councils, county commissioners, and our business partners to explore ways that our communities can work hand in hand with our business community to come to a full recovery once this is over so that we can get this economy back to the great place it was before these horrible events. And I wanna thank all of those people who are in the trenches for us, our medical professionals and their teams who are doing tireless work, our first responders who put themselves at risk each and every day, our grocery workers, their suppliers, the truckers, who are keeping those grocery stores open and stocked to the best of their ability. And please, please just buy what you need. No need to hoard. The supplies will keep coming in. I want to thank our teachers who, you know, those who have kiddos uh, have been struggling for the last couple of weeks without having the uh, resources of their teachers. And it's great to have the teachers back online with our students to be able to help them as well. And of course, I want to thank our team here at the city who are keeping our vital services functioning and safe. And to all of you staying at home, working at essential businesses or whatever you're doing to get through these difficult times. You're caring for yourselves. You're caring for loved ones. One of the things I love both, most about Arvada is our volunteer spirit. Please volunteer to keep doing this so we can get through these difficult times. It's not easy, but Arvada, we can do this. Thank you. <laughs>